Hi, my name is Michael Lean Brogan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up conversion goals for Google Analytics. Now, a lot of people in uh, internet marketing field will usually have Google Analytics installed on their sites, but uh, not a lot of people actually take the time to set up conversion goals. And this can be really helpful uh, in analyzing the process that people are going through, visitors to your site are going through, to actually end up purchasing your product. Now typically as internet marketers we will have our landing page and then from there they will either directly purchase our product or they might sign up to our autoresponder. So we'll have our web form on that code, they'll enter their name and email address, uh, they'll sign up to the autoresponder, they'll get to a thank you page uh, which might you might be giving away a free PDF report or something on that page. And then from there, they'll go through a, a process of gradually going to more pages on our site and then eventually purchasing our product. So what Conversion Goals allows you to do is analyze the typical process that most people are going, to, are going through to end up purchasing your product. So now to actually get to setting up goals, uh, from your analytics profile. Once you log in, you'll get to a main page where you see all your profiles. You then just click the edit link on the profile and you can scroll down to a section where you see goals. Now before you do that, you will need to add your um, specific website into Google Analytics. Once you do that, you will get your analytics code to put on your site. Now if you have a, a static HTML site, you can uh, just copy and paste that into each page on your site. But if you're using WordPress, there's a plugin which makes this a little bit easier. So if you log into the back end of your WordPress site, go to the Plugins tab, and then click Add New. You'll get to this page where you can search for a plugin. So under the Term Input field, type in Analytics and then click search and you'll see Google Analyticator comes up first. Now this is uh, the plugin that I use and it's becoming very popular which is why it is uh, up the top of the list. Now I've already installed it on this site uh, but if you haven't already you will see an install now link. Just click that link it will um, do its setup process and you will end up back at the plugins page and where you will see Google Analyticator installed. From there, you just click the Settings link. And all you need to do is copy in your Google An Analytics ID into this field and select Enable from the drop-down list above. That's pretty much it. All these other settings are fine by default. So if you scroll right down to the bottom and click Save Changes, you will now be tracking uh, all the visitors that come to your site on every page of your site. So if I go back to my profile settings for Domain Digger Pro, I have set up three different goals for this site. The first one is when someone reaches my download page. So from the home page, uh, there is download links uh, up the top here and then buttons in the middle. So this is the desired process that I'm, I'm wanting people to go through. They click the Download Now button. And then they get to this page where they can download a free trial of Domain Digger Pro. Now, uh, for you, this might be a free report page where you're giving away something for free and asking for name and email address. In this particular case, um, it's a free download. And inside the actual application, I've got a web form where I'm asking for name and email address. So that's the first uh, page I'm looking to track. So if I click edit on this, I've given the goal a name, I've set it to on, and in the goal type I've put a selected URL destination. Now if we go down to match type, I've selected head match, and in the goal URL I've put in the link to the page. Now you don't actually need to put in, well in my case it would be www.domaindiggerpro.com. I'm just putting in the extension of the actual page. Um, so you can see there's some instructions here which um, Google has said. 
If you've got a thankyou.html page on your site, you just need to enter forward slash thankyou.html. So on this page, I would just go to the end of the link and copy that part of the URL and paste that into the goal URL field. I've put a goal value, value of zero on this particular goal. And in the goal funnel, I want to track uh, well, my desired process is people will come to the home page and then click the download link. So I've just put a forward slash in the URL field and then I've given it a name of home page. After that, you just click save goal. Now, the second part of uh, the process, the second goal I want to track is once people have subscribed to my email list. So once that happens, they will, this is a, a setting I have specified in my actual autoresponder. They will go to this particular page. Now this isn't a page on WordPress. This is something I created in just static HTML. So I'm just um, asking people to like my Facebook page on this um, confirmation page. So again, I will grab that end link of my site. I will copy that out of the URL. Now if I click edit on the subscribed link, all the settings are basically the same. The match type is head match, uh, the goal type is URL destination, and I just paste in the link uh, for that particular page. Now in the goal funnel, I have added my home page as step one. Now this isn't a required step. I haven't put that because there are other ways that um, I want to track them getting to this download page and then subscribing to my email autoresponder. But the desired goal, the desired funnel, is they get to the home page first, then they go to the download page. So I put that as an extra step in the goal funnel. And then you just click save goal again. And then, of course, the third goal I want to track is when someone has actually purchased my product. So they will actually. Um, if I go back and click edit on that, everything is the same again. The goal URL I put forward slash download. So when someone actually, they will be, once they buy the product, they will get email instructions uh, to go to this page. Again, this is another static HTML page I made, and this actually has a login protection on it. So once they purchase my product, they'll get an email with username and password. They'll come to this page, enter those details, and they'll be able to download the product. So that's how you set up uh, conversion goals in Google Analytics. You'll see also for the goal funnel, I've identified every step again in this particular goal funnel. So the desired process is they go to the home page, they download the software. Inside that, they subscribe to my email autoresponder. And then through that, they end up purchasing the actual full version of the product. So as uh, internet marketers, our goal conversion process will be typically the same. If you're using you know, a, a web form on your website to capture name and email address, if you are just got a sales page, then you might only have one goal. Um, but if you set that up, you'll be able to see exactly how many people are coming to your website and uh, maybe leaving as opposed to coming to your website and actually purchasing your product. So hopefully that helps you out.